Happy Halloween weekend, Friday, everybody. I'm Amanda Head, The Hollywood Conservative, and this is your Hollywood Minute. So you no doubt have heard by now that Elon Musk has officially taken over as chief twit of Twitter, as he refers to himself. This, uh, you know, we all heard for the last few months tidbits of information coming out about him possibly buying it for $44 billion, and that's really all it was, was tidbits of information up until two days ago when Elon Musk walked into Twitter headquarters carrying a sink and said, let that sink in, presumably referring to the future apoplectic and apocalyptic meltdown by not only Twitter employees, but all of Blue Anon on Twitter, all of the leftists who have existed on Twitter, uh, saying what they wanted to, accusing people of whatever they wanted to, Twitter censoring whoever they wanted to without any repercussions. And it was obviously all one-sided. It was all against conservatives, all against Republicans. And now they can't do that anymore. And they are utterly melting down. So if you want to read all of the information, all the details about the process of how he purchased it, uh, then you can do that. But um, I wanted to focus on some of the reactions. So first of all, one of the most important things that we are going to learn from this, hopefully, is uh, the coding that they were using. So apparently, uh, Elon Musk brought in some Tesla engineers yesterday uh, to open up the, co the code and look and see, you know, if they had certain phrases or certain words that um, that they censored. Obviously, you can detect a bias within that. So uh, the news was allegedly that they were going to to check that out. And I'm sure that we will be finding that out. So on that note, I want to give you guys some of my favorite memes. So as I refer to Blue Anon, if you don't know what Blue Anon is, it's what we refer to leftist on Twitter. Uh, it rhymes with QAnon. But these people are absolutely nuts. They are crazy. They believe anything and everything uh, out there if it hurts Republicans or conservatives. So this is one of my favorite ones. Uh, Blue Anon and Copium, obviously trying to cope with what happened. And then, uh, oh, I don't really have time for that one. Uh, this one of Parag Agarwal, the former leader of Twitter, now working at McDonald's serving drinks uh, or serving food and drinks to Elon Musk and Donald Trump. Uh, and then my other favorite one is this one with Elon Musk conducting the orchestra of crying leftists. <sighs> you guys, I know some of you left Twitter and you're never gonna go back, but I have to tell you last night on Twitter, it was like a freaking fiesta. It was fantastic. I didn't even want to take my eyes off of it because there were new bits of information about, um, for instance, Vijaya Gade, who is the one who's responsible for Donald Trump getting permanently banned from Twitter. She got canned. I mean, it was like a bloodbath over there and it was just wonderful to watch it transpire and I'm always going to remember that day. All right, everybody head over to my website, thehollywoodconservative.us. Sign up for my daily emails. Go to my pillow. Use my promo code Hollywood. See you on Monday.